What's up science team? Last year we made a video called Eggs in Clear Pepsi for one year and that video got over a million views. The result was totally unpredicted and insanely disgusting. Ugh, the smell. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> the idea behind this video is that we're gonna test what would happen if you submerge two eggs in clear Pepsi and two eggs in Coca-Cola for one full calendar year. Chemically speaking, clear Pepsi and Coca-Cola are quite different, and so we really wanted to see what the result would be. Now, during this original experiment, I put two eggs in each container because I wanted one as a backup. Now, when we pulled back the lid of the containers after one year, we found that both eggs had survived. And so, at the end of that video, I then realized that I now have another egg that's been submerged in clear Pepsi and Coca-Cola, so I just basically put those eggs back in the containers and then just put it back on the shelf. And so now it's been two full years and we still have one egg in each container. We're gonna check out what those eggs look like today. Also, because that video got so many views, it got a ton of comments, there really are like kind of two camps as far as the most popular suggestions for what to do with these two eggs. Boil them and cook them. And so today, we're going to be taking your suggestions and I'm going to cook the clear one so we can see it when it busts open to see if there's any difference. And then we're going to boil the Coca-Cola egg and then cut it open too. It's gonna get pretty gross up in here. So for date verification, there was a lot of comments in the last video um, because I used Twitter to show the date. And a lot of people said, why don't you just show us your iPhone and show us the calendar? April 2019. April 28th, we put these in on April 19th in the year 2017. I'm gonna double verify. I'm just gonna show you to like the most recent tweet. Let's go to Catherine. And so there's the date right there. So 428.19. Now I'm gonna triple verify and I'm gonna show you my own Instagram. Um, I just put this, this out today. Um, it's called This Is Snake Fruit. We got posted on 428. 19 at 10 a.m. So that is today's date. It is actually two years later. So let's get super gross and go check out what the eggs have been up to for the last two years. We're going to start with the clear Pepsi egg. So I'm just gonna go up on the shelf. They've just been sitting up here for two years. I hope I don't spill this on myself. Okay, based on prior experience, I just know how bad this is gonna be. All right, here we go. One year later. Oh, oh God, it's, it smells like throw up. Like when you smell it, it, it immediately goes to the back of your throat. Like it smells like really bad vinegar. And I know from experience that when I pull back this like little like protective little sheet over top here, it's gonna be that much worse. Actually, now that I'm standing here, I think we've unleashed the demons because I can smell it now and it smells awful. It smells like throw up. It smells like kombucha, but worse. All right, I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna, Oh, 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 All right, I'm gonna go in for it. I'm gonna fish out that egg. Gotta be gentle. Oh, oh, it looks worse. Oh, and it smells so bad. Oh God, it smells worse. Oh, it's dying so quickly. Look at that. Oh, that's so weird. Like last year it was really plump, and this year it looks like it's been kind of like punctured. Ugh. Took a sack. Oh, it punctured! Oh no! No! It smells like egg wine. Oh, that, that's a really good analogy, like egg wine. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, so that is the crystal clear egg. It's just filthy and disgusting and, and, and it kind of already broke a little bit so we don't want to move it too much because I really want to like cut it open. So before we get to that, let's check out the Coca-Cola egg and then we'll go from there. Ugh, I just know this is gonna be awful. Ah! 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 Oh, and it 
Oh, it smells so. Oh. oh, that one's got like a more deep. It's got like mold, dog. That one like hit my stomach harder. Let's take a. Oh. Oh yeah, if you guys maybe want to. Okay, well I can. I've, I've made contact with the egg. Oh, oh. God. Oh, 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 the smell is really intense. Oh. This one's worse. There is the recovered egg. This one is quite plump. Oh wow, it's like, it's Whoa, so plump. What? Whoa, that is crazy. So, major discovery. The Coca-Cola egg is like super firm and plump, and the crystal clear Pepsi one is like deflated and weak. And what's interesting about this one versus the one that we did that was a year, a year old, the year old one like had the yolk in place. And so this one looks like, it doesn't really look like there's a distinct yolk. It just, it's just kind of like, you can't really do much. I mean, it really just looks like a, like a sack of garbage in there. It's got her open. Oh, Ooh. oh, it's like, it's actually, it's, it's actually pretty tough. It didn't, it didn't bust open. Oh, oh it's so foul. It's like, it's like the egg threw up. It's really bad. But, per the suggestions, the one thing that you wanted me to do was to cook it. Also, some of the questions, also the comments were saying things like, eat it, lick it. Um, no. <laughs> that like literally would be like wishing death upon me. And I got a lot of the cool videos that I want to make, so no, I'm not gonna eat it. Okie dokie, here we go. I like I literally can't believe we're doing this. <laughs> this is the world's most disgusting cooking show brought to you by Nick Juhas, the guy who puts eggs in really gross things for a really long time. The burner is fully activated, and so I'm just gonna have to play chef here. Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh I gotta turn it down some. That's really. Oh! 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 That smells so bad. There's nothing to flip. It, it kind of just disintegrated. Like, there's not a whole lot here, guys. Not a whole lot to make an egg sandwich. Oh! Uh, oh! There's the inside. Oh! Oh! Uh. Oh, it's only getting worse. I'm gonna have to do it. I, I wanted to be, I just wanted to be authentic with it, but it is so bad, I can't do it. All right, so we have, we have fully cooked the egg. Really interesting, the egg really kind of didn't cook. It kind of just looked like this scrambled egg mess. After cooking it, I'm really surprised. Like, I kind of, I kind of thought it was just gonna like cook like in place. And it was gonna look kind of like an omelet and I was just gonna be able to flip it. But really that didn't happen at all. It kind of just like, half evaporated and then some of the hard parts that were kind of just there anyways just kind of stuck around and are now like that. So okay, there you go. Um, for all the people who commented in the last year's video about um, taking the egg that was left over and uh, cooking it, there you go. That's what the egg looks like when it's cooked. Now we're gonna move on to the coke egg. Um, we're going to boil that one first and then we're going to cut it open. Weird. So weird. It's very similar to the one. It's more firm though than the one from the one year. So I'm just gonna kind of dump it in place. So there we go. There's our two year old egg. And it already smells awful. Now we're gonna take this regular egg. We're gonna go ahead and toss it in there. And then when this is hard boiled, then we'll know that it's, you know, should be hard boiled. All right, we're gonna just check our regular egg and see if it's hard boiled or not. Oh yeah, it's definitely hard boiled. Okay, so it's, this is like a soft boiled egg. 
If this is cooked this way, this one should certainly be cooked by now. So let's get rid of this guy and put this on the cutting board and see what's inside. All right, so I need to like hold it in place. So here we go. It's like, I'm so tense. <laughs> It actually got worse. Boiling it did nothing except for make it a giant, hot, steaming pile of rotted goo that just shot all over the table. <sighs> Filthy. Okay, there we go. We had an egg in Coca-Cola for two years. We had an egg in Crystal Pepsi for two years. We took them out and with the Crystal Pepsi one, we cut it open and then we cooked it and it kind of turned into this like weird omelette-y beef jerky looking thing. It never really quite cooked. Like it never really kind of looked like a cooked egg. In contrast, we took the Coca-Cola egg and we attempted to hard boil it, but it never really hard boiled either. It kind of just got steaming and hot and then when we cut it open, it confirmed that it never really turned into a cooked, solid, hard-boiled egg. Whatever happened chemically in two years, like, what we learned is that once it gets to the stage of where the shell is gone and the eggs kind of bloat, you can never really go back to, like, make it or cook it into what looks like a firm, hard-boiled or, like, you know, sunny side up egg. It just cannot happen. So I'm really curious what happened chemically. I don't know. Um, if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comment section below. Also, in the comments, let me know like what other experiments in this realm would you like us to do? Would you like us to put it in different types of soda, a different kind of egg? Let me know. Also, were you guys grossed out? Because I know I was so grossed out filming this. I almost puked several times smelling this. It, it really, it smells as gross as it looks. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you really soon.